I think a lot of automakers are uh, cautiously optimistic that they are going to be able to embrace mobility services and be effective in delivering those services to their existing customers. You know, there's a little bit of a push-pull in that those customers may or may not be buying cars, which is, you know, pretty much the fundamental thing that, that, that the car manufacturers want to see happen. However, as you start uh, entering into a shared economy, you can, you can see other opportunities, and I think we are seeing that in, in Ford's uh, shift uh, in their kind of orientation and branding as a mobility service provider. We've certainly seen a number of examples from PSA uh, and Free to Move where they're facilitating ride share, bike share, all forms of mobility. And I think that that's going to be a, a, an ongoing trend, especially as there's a greater urbanization and more people are living in cities. You've got more opportunities for micro transportation. Uh, different, different links of transportation will be serviced in different ways. And I think that you know, we're certainly seeing a, a, an interest in carbon footprint reduction. One of the primary ways that you can do that is transportation. So it's much better to take a train than it is drive a car. It's much better to drive an electric car than a regular car. Perhaps you could ride share with other people in carpool and minimize your carbon footprint like that. And I think that not only the consumers, but also the OEMs and even dealers are finding that carbon footprint reduction is a, is a real thing that they need to focus on.